Hi, I'm Dr. Lydia Sosenko, and today we'll be discussing and demonstrating how to advance your dorsal type oral device for sleep apnea and snoring. They come in a variety of colors depending on the laboratory that makes them and some of the details of each specific device, but they do share something um, in common. They will all have this type of mechanism uh, for the advancement tool. So how it works is as you advance it, you are not making it tighter or looser, but this area will spread, this component, and will then come across and hit this part of the device more and more forward. So when you're doing that, you're opening that airway, as in this model, you're gonna be actually bringing it more and more forward. This is your airway, this is your jaw, and so as you advance it, you're bringing it more and more forward. The whole goal of the beginning advancements are to get it to the point where all your symptoms are relieved, whether they're snoring, um, whether they're poor sleep, uh, daytime fatigue, anything, morning headaches, advancing it until all those have been resolved or you have some discomfort, then you definitely have to stop. So make sure you don't start this advancement technique until you've had a few nights comfortably made it through the night. Once you are comfortable, if there are no symptoms, don't advance the device unless your prescribing dentist has mentioned for you to do so. But if you still have your symptoms and you're comfortable enough, this is when you can start advancing your device. And how you're going to do that, you're gonna take this tool and in there, picture a canyon that has a wheel in it with holes in it, and your job is to insert into that wheel and then move the device down in the direction of the arrow, which on this side is pointing down. So that's one turn. I'm going to, again, find that hole closest to the base of the arrow that will allow me to go again in the direction of that arrow. Then on this side, the arrows are going uh, up at this point. So I'm going to find a hole closest to that base of that arrow I'm going to move it forward. That's one turn. I'm going to find again a hole closest to the base of that arrow. Okay, and I'm going to move it again in the direction of the arrow. And now I adjusted both sides two more turns. So it's important to do both sides equally. Um, and I usually tell my patients to start with two turns on each side. If that's very comfortable, they can transition to five turns every three to four nights or 10 turns once a week. But again, ask your prescribing dentist for details and follow his or her instructions primarily. Also, never um, advance your device past the point of any kind of discomfort that does not resolve. You might even want to rewind it opposite the direction of the arrow should there be pain that doesn't resolve. In this case, you would go towards the base that way and on this case, when the arrows are pointing up, you would go and go down opposite the arrow if it's not been resolved and you need to rewind it. So again, this is the instructions um, for a variety of dorsal type devices, including the Somnident line and other laboratories that have similar devices. These all have very similar. And, um, but always ask your primary dentist for further instructions. Some patients never have to advance their device. If the symptoms are controlled, do not advance it unless your dentist has also mentioned for you to go further based on results.